Hey there! Welcome back to Rants and Reels. I'm Kyle, and I'm about to go see a movie. I'm about to go see 12 Strong. This is a true story, or a based on a true story, or, you know, this actually happened. One of those things. Um, I'm gonna go see how it is. I'll be right back, and I'll tell you what I thought. Alright, hey again. So, just got out of the theater uh, after watching 12 Strong. Now, let me tell you a couple things first. I liked it. Now, this is not normally a movie that I, it doesn't really fall into my um, in my personal preference. Uh, in that, it is a a modern modern war piece. Uh, in other words, this is a movie about people who uh, did things. Uh, Went to, went to a war, fought, died, within the recent, the, the recent present, uh, the recent past, within the last, within the last uh, 15, 20 years. Um, I'm not a personal, I'm not a personal fan of that, just to get this out of the way, not a personal fan of that because it hits, uh, it hits close to home. It feels, you know, hey... <laughs> The, these people are still alive. Uh, you know, these people may still be, be grieving and dealing with, with all of these things. Um, in some cases, these, these conflicts, these wars might still be going on. So, while I think some, some of these stories are very important to tell, uh, not my not my personal cup of tea to go for for entertainment. Um, that said, these are some important stories to tell, and because of that, I'm also not a fan of these because they can become uh, jingoistic, overly patriotic, uh, borderline hero worship kind of kind of stories, you know, let's glorify things that people did, and often overlook uh, the, uh, the the casualties, the collateral damage, um, you know, real, real things that have a real impact, uh, as opposed to let's just have a very narrow focus. Uh, this film did not do that. Uh, which was very good. Um, so the the basic basic story. This is a a fairly recently, um, as of around. You know, I'm going to get my dates wrong. So sorry. Uh, I think I think it said around 2014. Uh, this was uh, these stories were declassified. Uh, so this was at the very beginning of the uh, U.S. presence in Afghanistan directly after uh, September 11th in 2009. Not 2009. Jeez. 2001. So uh, what this did very, very well that I appreciated is uh, first, uh, they they focused as much on these 12 American soldiers uh, as they did on the Afghan forces they were uh, they were working with, with you know with whom they were embedded uh, so the the focus was was not it was not a, a narrow beam uh, so to speak there were two separate groups of people that they very clearly um, they portrayed very fairly, I felt. The, the film itself felt very honest in this respect. Uh, they did not shy away from the idea of, uh, of collateral damage. They did not shy away from the fact that these were uh, a mix of, uh, of, of men of all ages. Uh, there were there were children in in the mix, um, so they did not shy away from that uh, at all. 
it's uh, by the by the end of the film, you are not left with the idea or with the feeling that any any of these casualties were uh, overlooked or forgotten um, or exploited in any way. Uh, in, in many respects, that the end by the end of this film, it felt very bittersweet because of that. Um, there's a lot to unpack, a lot to think about, uh, a lot of things it did very well, and so I'm gonna get driving, show you the trailer, and then I'll be back. The most important thing a man can take into combat is a reason why. You in this fight, boys, you mark my words. Can't you hear me knocking on your window? Nineteen men attacked our country. The twelve of you will be the first ones to fight back. Can't you it's us, we're going hear in. Me knocking on your door. You know I love you, right? I would be remiss if I did not say to you, even in success, the odds of you coming home. You're 100%, sir. We're coming home. Why? These men follow you. You take me to the Taliban, I'll show you. Okay. We take horses. You serious? All right, who's ridden before? Anyone? Can't kill, spring break. Just pretty hammered. <laughs> hey, this will be fun. 50,000 Al-Qaeda fighters, and you're just an army of 12. We've just been handed the most important mission in the free world. Hold on. Our boys are gonna ride into battle on horseback? Chances are we are not gonna make it out of this one. If we quit now, what happened back home is gonna happen again and again. Get out, get out. It's you who gotta make this decision. Oh, my! Nothing I'd rather do. Oh, man. Thought you'd never ask. Where the hell do those come from? Take out biggest guns first. I am your biggest gun, Cap. The only way home is winning. This is from the towers. You carry that with you. So I'm not even sure really how to begin this here. Uh, so 12 Strong, uh, the subtitle being the unclassified true story of the horse soldiers, something along those lines. Uh, now, as a disclaimer here, I am go. I am not going to try to remember names because uh, those notes are there are notes I can't read right now. And so, if you want, you know, names, uh, you're gonna have to read the the review that I put down in the video description. E enough about that. Uh, when I said uh, a moment ago that this felt uh, like an honest portrayal, uh, I really mean to say is the, the, the presentation of this story was not, uh, it was not uh, pristine. Uh, often you will get with these with these types of films uh, something stripped down. Uh, you'll have you know character flaws, uh, mistakes. You'll you'll have these things kind of stripped out. Uh, that wasn't done so much here. Uh, it's not to say that they did anything really wrong, but you know they weren't. Uh, 
they they were they were not uh, nobody was put on a pedestal. Uh, that's that's for sure. Uh, so that's when I when I say it was uh, it felt honest, and I I can't actually speak to the the honesty of it, uh, the truth of what was portrayed in the story. Um, major elements, I believe, to be true. So I believe they were, you know, mostly honest. They did several things to probably, you know, bump up the uh, the the pace of the story, the the way the way things progressed. Uh, probably made a couple of characters a little more uh, a little more screen friendly. But that's that really felt about it. So I didn't feel overly exaggerated. Uh, nobody. You know, nobody came out. Um, I almost said it didn't. Uh, nobody had a charging through the smoke. Uh, you know, guns blazing. You know, a good hero moment. But we did. We actually did have a couple of those. But uh, you know, those did not even even those moments. While they uh, most certainly were more dramatic than what happened, I don't get the feeling that it was much more dramatic than what actually happened. Um, if anything, this was a little uh, cleaner than, than what happened. Things were a little more clear-cut. Um, that's, that's kind of what you have to do when you're, when you're taking a story like this and putting it on screen. Um, but I'm rambling about that. Um, so what we, what we had um, the, the, the horseback thing was a, a very intriguing story uh, to begin with. Uh, the fact that they, they, were, they were going into, they were going into these, these battles on horseback uh, against tanks and rockets. Um, I mean, that's not to say that, you know, the guys on horseback were also calling in airstrikes. Uh, so, you know, the, it was it was kind of a, an even playing field, I guess, in that respect. Um, but it was still kind of impressive to, uh, to, to watch that story unfold. Um, and uh, when, I, when I mentioned earlier that a, a good deal of focus was on the Afghan, uh, the, Af the, the people of, of Afghanistan, um, this was really, uh, this was really their fight, uh, against the, uh, the, the Taliban. So in, in a lot of ways, they did a very good job in portraying that, uh, the, the U.S. did not just go into this area, uh, we went in um, with a lot, uh, a lot of help from the, the Afghan people uh, who did uh, the majority of the legwork. Um, so it was really a, a supported, uh, supported liberation and I was, uh, it was a very, very happy and very glad to see that portrayed in this way. Um, I'm still left. I'm still left feeling uh, this. The film did have a, an impact. They did a very good job of of doing uh, exactly what they set out to. It was not just a here's this story. But you know, here's the story. Here's what it means. Here's the uh, here's the historical context. And by the by the time you get to the the, the epilogue, you know, the, the paragraph of text that you get on the on the, the end of this on the the screen at the end of these movies, everything everything was pretty well uh, pretty well established. And given that this is recent history, it's easy to to see and understand how 
the events and actions in this one story. And this is a very brief story. So this is only about a um, one month of uh, one month of, of action, of, of one single uh, deployment and engagement. Um, um, that's probably not the, quite the right terminology. That's not coming to mind. Um, so it was just one very brief. It was it was how this how it, things started, and it, it set the pace and set the tone. And uh, I'm I'm very glad I, I saw that movie. And. I do believe that it is going to be a, an important film going forward, um, especially in the historical context. So it's, I'm, I'm glad to see, I'm glad to see things presented in an honest way. Um, I'm not going to say this is, it's not, uh, please don't go into this movie thinking you're going to see you know, an entertaining war piece. Uh, this, this is a, a story and it has uh, a point and it has something to say and it is something to think about. And I appreciate how much I now have to think about uh, is when I get home and I sit down at, at my computer and, and, and I try to force these thoughts through a keyboard in any way that makes sense, because I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm not making a whole lot of sense right now. So I'm going to call it there. Uh, Twelve Strong is a, a good, a good solid movie. Um, and an unexpected recommendation for me. So there's that. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to Check the full review down in the video description. Thank you for writing along. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time. Next time there's a, there's a movie that I'm going to. Have a good night, everybody.